This is John Pluto, GeorgiaBees.com. Uh, today I'm going to talk about propolis, uh, how to get out of the traps. I was in South Georgia the last couple of days, and uh, people always asking me how much propolis do I get out of a trap. I really don't uh, remember too much, so we're going to find out together here. All I'm going to, first of all, it's 27 degrees out right now. I would normally put these in the freezer, but because it's so cold. I just left them outside last night. What we start with is all I use is an 18 gallon plastic uh, container. This trap here is average to just a, a little above average full of propolis. And when we first pull them off, we just look to, to make sure we pry off all the little pieces of uh, dead bees. A lot of times we have, we have a small hot beetle stuck to them. Uh, any kind of little Thing we might have here's a little bee head we'll get that off of there this is uh this came out of some swampy areas it's a little it's a little more orange than, than normal i'm guessing a couple ounces of propolis here's another trap that was just a little less and on the, on the same traps just under, well, in fact, there's a small high beetle, dead one. Just under the traps, these traps were on approximately three or four months. These were the scrapings off the top, off of the top bars. There's a few little dead bees in here. I'll be cleaning this up here later. When I use a package, the, the uh, propolis, we sell it for five fifty an ounce, which is around eighty-eight dollars a pound, which is a nice little profit. But uh, I use those sandwich bags. Well, actually, they're not sandwich bags; they're snack bags. And I was, I was just curious here on this uh, scrapings propolis. When propolis is cold, it's just like an ice cube. It's very, very brittle. When it's warm, it's it's just like road tar. I'm just really curious here on how much weight we're gonna have. That's about three and a half ounces. So that, that, that's about seventeen, eighteen dollars worth of propolis right here. That I'm gonna clean up in a little bit. But my main goal is to find out how, how much propolis comes out of this one trap right here. And we're starting with an empty bucket. And because it's really cold, I'm gonna just very gently. First of all, scrape off all this big amounts of propolis. That makes it easy. And then all I'm doing, I'm using a hive tool and, and just uh, by, by hitting it and beating it a little bit, we've already gotten a, a good little amount. The bees are using this to seal, to, to seal up the cracks and crevices in the hives. When I first started using a propolis trap many years ago, it's taken a long time to build up a, a, a customer basis for this. It, it doesn't happen, it, it, it takes a good while. But my theory was when the bees are going to bring, bring propolis back to the hive anyway, by putting the trap on the top of the hive, they would put more of, the more of the propolis in the trap instead of putting it on my uh, 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 on my frames. And just a, a quick refresher to change course again is when I put the propolis on, on, on the top of a hive, I instead of using a, a, a top or conventional top, I use I, I use a bottom board just reversed. It goes on like so. The bees will actually fill a propolis trap from, from both sides. This also uh, uh, makes a top, uh, a top ventilation entrance on the hive. We've got most of the propolis off of here. Now it's just a matter of, of gently twisting the bee twisting and bending them just like an ice cube tray and I, I use a hive tool on the back of the hive tool just doing some light hitting 
by having a deep container like this here, all your propolis will catch most of it, but I'm doing it outside. When we do it inside, we do have a little bit of a mess. It will kind of fly around. One of the things on the craft is you normally don't get it all out. These are the Michigan traps. Sometimes during the year, when we're really low on propolis and we have a lot of orders for it, we'll go through and and and, and all these big things with a uh, pry, with a hive tool get the big chunks out. You can actually come. We actually uh, when I have stacks of between 30 and 40, 50 uh, uh, propolis traps, I'll go back and reharvest. I'm, I'm just and, and come up with th three, four, five, six ounces by just redoing it. But most of that's in, in, ends up being a powder, which uh, actually dissolves quicker and better. And we actually have an option on, 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 the, on the Georgia Bee's website of having the powder or the chunks. That was a pretty, pretty substantial harvest right there. Got most of it. Now we'll find out the uh, So uh, about $17 uh, retail value on this bag of propolis at $5.50 an ounce is, is what we retail. The trap runs around $7.50, so this is, this is a pretty good return. And uh, this is not heavy or sticky. Uh, it, it takes, uh, what we normally will do now is spread it out on, on a cookie sheet just to make sure, just do a rough cleaning to make sure we don't have any uh, any more bee parts. Occasionally, if you leave it on certain times of year, you will have a, a few little pieces of mold f f from the condensation on top of your hive. That looks pretty good. So, out of this one trap, now we both, uh, we all know, uh, on this a moderate collection right now, but we still have approximately another half ounce or an ounce on, on this trap if, if we want it to be really good on it. But, but by having some out here, when you, when you reinstall this trap, the bees basically know what they're supposed to be doing with it. This trap here looks about the same. So this is three and a half ounces here, and then we had another three and a half ounces divided between the two. So approximately five ounces, but that's, that, that's considering uh, that some of this came off of the top bars. But three, uh, three and a half ounces off of one trap in one collection. And what you have to do on, on your retail sales is uh, I always I always put one ounce in a baggie there's an ounce right there I make up my own little labels on, on my computer A one ounce bag of propolis, and, and just for visual, this this is basically one ounce of the chunks. Now, you sometimes have to, you'll have a lot of powder in here. I, I try to mix a little bit of both, or I do have requests for for just a pr propolis powder. What, what we can do is take the same baggie and take a rolling pin and just roll over top of it to to, to get to, to to make the powder. That's my current tip. Uh, Try some propolis traps and build up a build up a market for it. It'll take take you a while, but it's a nice little sideline. Visit GeorgiaBees.com if, if you need propolis or the traps.